This is going to be our second example of doing iterations with a while loop. And so for this particular problem, we're going to be given a vector. So given a vector and a cutoff, a number for cutoff, uh, we're going to return a vector with uh, all the values with the values from the original vector that are greater than the cutoff value. Okay, and we've done this problem before. Uh, once again, I'm going to illustrate over here on the for loop side for comparison, and then I'm going to do oh, I'm going to show you how it's implemented on the while loop side. So uh, we come over here, we say a is equal to negative 99. 16, 0, 99, and 8. And this is the example I did on a previous video. Um, B is equal to 10. C is equal to, because we're accumulating our answer, the empty vector, um, semicolon. And then 4x, once again, using the indexing method, because that's what we're forced into using with the while loop, so we'll do that for comparison. So x equals 1 to the length of a, and we check here for the value if a of x is greater than b, um, c equals c concatenated with a indexed to x. And then we end that, and then we end, and then we display c. Once again, this is a script. Could have done a function, but I wanted to keep consistent with what we did before. Over here on the side with while, and as you follow along, along, try to anticipate how we're going to convert this. In fact, you could actually stop the video now and then um, try your implementation and then restart the video to see if you got what I got. Um, A equals, so all this part's the same here. And then we set up our result vector. Uh, C. So now we've got to once again keep in mind our steps. We have to initialize, we have to inspect, and we have to increment. Okay, so we have to initialize a loop variable which will be x equals 1. We'll start x off at 1, much like over here on the for side, it's going to start at 1, 2. Um, once again, it's just the for loop is going to take care of all this for us. Then we put in our while statement, while, and then our inspection part. So we've initialized, now we're going to come here, do our inspection. So we got to check to make sure that x is less than or equal to the length of a. Right? And that will make sure x goes through all of these values. Uh, so that's the inspection part. And then we'll do our code here. Check to see if A index at X is greater than B. If it is, we concatenate that value onto result vector C. We end. Now before we end the while loop, this is the end for the if, before we end the while loop, we now must do our third thing, which is increment our loop variable X. So X equals X plus 1. Right? And then now we're finished with our while loop. And then we can display C. Okay, so once again, um, being very clear, um, we did it one step over here with the for loop. Over here with the while loop, we had to increment, excuse me, we had to initialize um, our loop variable. We had to inspect our loop variable every time we get through the while loop and we have to increment our loop variable usually down there at the bottom of the while loop. So that's the translation of this line of code into the while statement or the while loop over here. Um, let's follow this line, let's follow this again uh, as we did before. So we're going to go through and A is going to equal this, B is going to equal 10, C starts off empty, and then X is equal to 1. So let's go x is equal to the value of 1 initially. And then while x is less than or equal to length of a, length of a once again is 5. So we'll just put a 5 up here. 
So this is our inspection stage. And we, we've inspected it. Yes, x is less than 5. So therefore, we, we enter our while loop in this code block, this code block in here. Okay. We check to see is a indexed at x. Uh, a indexed at 1 is negative 99. Is that greater than b? No, it's not. So you skip down to this line uh, and you increment. So x now equals x plus 1. x gets, and I had the arrow there last time, x gets x plus 1. x is presently 1, so the new value of x is equal to the present value of x plus 1. So the new value of x is 2. So you go back up here to the while loop and you ask yourself, is 2... Um, is 2 less than or equal to 5? No, yes, it is. So you once again check, is A indexed at 2 greater than, than B? B is 10. Um, no, it's, excuse me, yes it is, because A indexed at, at 2 is 16. 16 is greater than 10. So now C gets the value, gets the vector of the old C, which is the empty vector, concatenate it with a indexed at x, which is 16. So now c gets 16. And so now c is the vector 16, uh, just as we did over here with the for loop. And then we come down here, and now we increment again. So now x is incremented by 1, and now x is 3. You check here, is 3 less than 5? Yes. Is a indexed at 3 greater than b? So um, a indexed at 3 is 0. That is not greater than 10, so you do not do this in here, and now you just increment again. So now x is equal to 4. You come back to the top of the loop. Is 4 less than or equal to 5? Yes, it is. So you is a indexed at 4 greater than b? So a indexed at 4 is 99. Is that greater than 10? Yes, it is. So now c now gets the old value of c, which was the vector 16, concatenated with a indexed at 4 which is 99 and so now C gets 16 uh, C is the vector 1699 you do that you come down here you increment X once again so now X is 5 you come back up to the top is 5 less than or equal to 5 yes it is so you do it again is a indexed at 5 greater than B a indexed at 5 is 8 B is 10 so no that's not true you come down here X now gets X plus 1 so now X is 6 you come back to the top is 6 less than or equal to 5? No, it is not. So you exit this loop, then you display C in the command window, and so what you display is 1699. And that's how that code works. Put it in MATLAB, use the break, use the breakpoints, step through it, and convince yourself that this works. Next up, we'll do another example, um, once again, uh, to drive this point home. So this is the example when we're given a vector A and a cutoff B, and we're going to build our results vector C based on the values in A that are greater than the cutoff B. And so I'm going to implement that over here in the while loop. Do my clean slate stuff here. Comment in here. Cutoff. Implement while loop. And same as over there with 4, 99, 16, 0, 99, 8, A equals 10, C equals the vector. So now we get to our initializing phase, which we now have to say X equals 1. And then we do while, and now we do our inspection while x is less than or equal to the length of a. And then we do our work part of this code block, which is we check to see if a of x is greater than b. And if it is, we concatenate that value onto the end of our result vector C. So that ends the work part. Now I'm skipping a line here for emphasis, but now we do the, increment, the incrementing 
of our loop variable. Now we end, oops, we end our while loop and then we display our result vector C. Okay? Um, so initializing, inspecting, and then incrementing. So let me put in, uh, let me save it first. All right, and then let's put in breakpoints so we can see what's happening here. All right, so run it. And A gets our vector, B gets 10, C becomes an empty vector, and X gets initialized as 1. I do my check on the while loop, uh, excuse me, on line 10, I check to see if A is less than the length of A. Let me see if X is less than or equal to the length of A, and length of A is 5, so it is, so I enter my loop at 11. I do the check to see if A indexed at 1 is greater than B. It is not, so I skip that, and I go down line 15, where X gets incremented to X plus 1, which now becomes 2. Back to the top of the while loop, I do my check again, 2 is less than 5. Um, because x is now 2 and the length of a is 5. Um, so that means I get into my while, my while code. Um, if a indexed at 2 is greater than b, uh, b is 10. So 16 is greater than 10. So I add uh, the value 16 to the results vector c. And you see that happening here. And then I jump down and I increment again on line 15. So now x equals 3. Once again, I pass the test at line 10. Um, is a indexed at 3 greater than b? No, it's not. So I jump down to line 15. I increment again. x is now 4. Top of my loop, I do the check. 4 is less than 5. So now I'm down. Is a indexed at 4 greater than b? So is 99 greater than 10? Yes, it is. So I enter that if statement. I execute line 12, which I concatenate 99 onto my result vector C. And C now becomes the vector 1699. I go to line 15, increment X from 4 to 5. You see that here. Top of the while loop again, 5 is less than or equal to 5. So I check again. Is A indexed at 5 greater than B? Is A greater than 10? No, it's not. I skip down to line 15. Increment again, now x is 6. I go back to the top of my while loop. I test on line 10. Is 6 less than or equal to, to 5? No, it's not. So therefore, I jump down and skip out of and exit out of my while loop, um, which is there. I exit down now to line 17, which is display C. And now, as you can see, um, the vector 1699, which is the value in C up here in the workspace, now gets displayed down here to the command window. So um, that's the example. Once again, initialize, increment, whoop, did it wrong. Initialize, inspect, and increment. Initialize, inspect, and increment. Um, and all of that you have to put together uh, while over here in the for loop, it all gets done for you. It's in your initialize, inspect, and increment. So that's example two. Uh, we'll move on to example three.